Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I have a mistake, a huge mistake I wanted to share with you. This morning, I got one of my Cantania bags of refried beans that I bought at the discount Amish store for 50 cents. And I was making refried beans and potatoes and eggs and bacon for the boys for breakfast and for me. And um, I had a pot of boiling water going. And so I told Jeremy, he saw me working with the beans and I said, hey, can you get two cups? And I pointed to the cup. It was actually a pint jar. And I said, can you get two of those, fill them up and pour them in? He said, yeah. So I turned my back and by the time I turned around, he poured two pints into my beans as opposed to into the pot of boiling water that I wanted him to add it to. So at first I got mad and then I just I just held my breath and I went, all right, what am I going to do with that? <laughs> it was water. So I thought, well, at first I started adding the roux and I thought, you know what, I'll just make it thick. So I did, so I'd already done the root initially, but then I did more with cornstarch. And then I started to really look at it, and I thought, I've canned lots of stuff, but I have not canned pinto bean soup. And I've never made it. <laughs> when you cook from scratch, you just kind of figure things out. So I added three more. Over, over while I was cooking, I ended up adding five more. So I added five more pints of water. I, um... I chopped, I cut up some potatoes, some russet potatoes into small pieces. I got bacon and ham and I fried them up into little chunks and I put them in here and I put cumin, salt, pepper, garlic powder, onion powder, and um, some cilantro because that's amazing and cheddar cheese because I put cheddar cheese in my beans. When I make refried beans I put cheddar cheese so I thought why not? And then I put my heat, which is a jalapeno garlic and onion mixture that I that I make, you know. If you haven't seen that, I did a video on it. But it's just jalapeno garlic and onion roasted in the oven, and then you puree it, and then I can it. So pretty, pretty basic. But I made this soup, and I tasted it. Never made it before. It is so amazing. <laughs> oh, my goodness, you guys. The things. I could have just thrown them out. I could have gotten mad and yelled and screamed. So many things I could have done. But now, this will fill up five quarts of meals. Because one quart, I can feed all of us. Because I empty a, I'll make a roux with the first one. doesn't matter that I made a roux before. I'll make a roux. And then, and then I'll pour the quart in. And then I will add a little bit more water. And that will make enough for four big bowls of soup. And they're plentiful of potatoes and everything else. So, yeah, that was our huge mistake today. Turned out to be an amazing thing that he did. And this tastes so good, you guys. It is so delicious. You should try it. it cooking is not a science. It's pretty basic. Once you do this, I wouldn't advise going with corn and broccoli don't be doing that to your food <laughs> certain dishes yes but when you make something like this just keep it keep it breakfast style there's bacon and potatoes in there you know what i mean like don't be adding a lot i could add corn and peas and no just like this it's fine all right just wanted to share that with y'all have a great day shalom